Okay, Stray Cat Strut by the Stray Cats. Um, one of the quintessential 80s rockabilly revival songs here. Um, a lot of fun parts for this. Uh, if you got like a, a semi-hollow body like a Gretsch or something, that's going to get you know really close to the sound. And uh, pretty straightforward. We'll start with the uh, little intro solo here. Kind of jazzy, you know, uh, mellow style, of course. And uh, just to start it off, it's going to do a standard tuning. Okay. And uh, we're going to do a bit of a uh, slide up vibrato thing here. It's going to be 7 and 8 on the B and E. And we're going to slide that up to 8. Okay, and you can just do some vibrato with your hand there. Or if you have the, the Bigsby style here, you know. So, like I said, like having a Gretsch or something like that, that'll give you a really close sound. So we'll do that. Okay, and then it's a little, uh, little scale and bend pull off here. We'll do eight on the B. And then do a bend on 10 of the G. Release it. And then pull off to eight on the G. quick 10 to 8 again on the G. Alright, then we'll move to kind of a arpeggiate of a chord here. It'll be 10 on the A, 9 on the D, and then 8 and 8 on the G and B. It's kind of that cool jazzy chord there. Right after that, do 11 on the D okay, to the 10 on the G, and then 7 on the D to 8 on the G. together here. Alright, now the intro chords. Um, these are essentially going to be the same as the verse chords will be, but we're just kind of uh, changing the dynamic here. It's just going to be like a single strum. Um, and it's going to start at uh, C minor, and we're going to play it all the way up here for this voicing. So bar the 8th fret, 10 and 10 on the A and D. And like I said, we're just going to do single strums. Okay, and then we're going to move to a uh, B flat. Okay, so sixth fret bar chord. Just one strum. Then do a G sharp here at the fourth fret bar chord. And then a G. So just third fret. Like I said, the verse uh, is essentially just the same as those intro chords, but we're just going to be um, doing two strums, just kind of short strums for each chord. So like I said, it'll be the C minor to the B flat to the G sharp to the G, and we're just going to do two strums each. Just little short staccato strums. Last G, you do kind of a one, two, three. All right, for the chorus chords, uh, kind of the same style. We're just kind of kicking it up to a new key here. Uh, it's going to be a F minor. And we're going to play it all the way up here at the 8th fret, so 8 on the A, 10 on the D, 10 on the G, 9 on the B, and 8 on the E. Okay, kind of higher voicing for 
F minor there. Right, and we're going to play it kind of the same way the verse was with the two short strums. Okay, and then we're going to kick it down to uh, the E flat. So just drop it two frets and just bar uh, the D, G, and B on the eighth fret. And just two strums on that. And then to a C sharp, so just two frets lower. A couple strums. And then the C, so just drop it down to the third fret here. And the one, two, three. solo comes in here. Okay, it's going to start with the uh, 10 on the G. And just kind of a vibrato on that. Okay, and then we're going to hit 8 and 8 on the B and E. Alright, and then a bend on that 10 on the G. And then to 8 on the G. Ten, eight, six on the D. Back to eight. Hammer on six to eight. And then we do a hammer on here, which is uh, five, six, five on the D. Continuing with the solo, kind of a next section, a uh, cool little scale here. Uh, it's going to go two, three, slide up from A, open D, one, three, open G, one on the D, open D, three on the A. And we do uh, open to one, hammer on, on the G. One to four on the B. Two to one on the E. Kind of a funky, jazzy chord here. Or a uh, scale, sorry. Next solo section, just some uh, kind of high voice chord parts. Uh, just the high voicings of the uh, verse chords, basically. So we do 10 on the G, 888 eight, eight on the GBE. Bring it down to the B flat here, 8766. Six. Two frets lower on the 6544. Four for the G sharp, and then end it on the 5, 4, 3, 3 for the G. Next solo section here, cool little scale. Uh, it's going to start with 8 on the E, 6A, 9A, 7D, 10 on the D, 8 to G, okay, let's try that real quick, okay. and then we do a little bend on 11 of the G, hit 8 on the E, Bend 8 on the G, then 10 on the D, then we end it with a 10D, 
8G, 10D, 10G. All right, the post solo verse comes in, and it's kind of just an alternate uh, higher voicing going on, and a little bit of added notes. So we'll do the 10, 9, 8 on the G, B, E. twice and then we do a little 10 on the E in that formation and then back to the 10 9 8 okay about five times all right next section of the alternate verse here uh, would just be eights on the G B E. Right. Just do one. Ten on the E. Back to three eights. And then here we just end it with a kind of a a slide to seven twice. And then back to eight. section uh, just kind of same as the first part with the 10 9 8 a couple times hit the 10 back to the 8 all right and ending that uh, new verse part uh, we're just going to come up to 11 on the G 10 and 10 on the B and E four times and then up one more fret to 12 11 11 four times you put the whole thing together second solo uh, kind of does a similar thing we started with with the sevens on the B and E uh, slide up to eight okay, and just kind of hold it and give some tremolo on it All right, and then we just hit a couple of little stabs here with the 10 and 11 on the B and E okay just real really punchy just okay and then slide it down a fret and again there the 9 and 10 and then back to the 7 and 8 all right and then uh, 8 on the B bend 10 on the G and then go to 8 on the G Kind of some quick little arpeggios here, uh, where we go um, six, five, four on the D, G, B. Okay, just real plucky, quick arpeggios, and then slide it down a fret for the five, four, three. Just try to make them real plucky and short. Okay, so we'll put that together. section kind of doing what the uh, previous one started with slide the sevens up to eight on the B and E and then do those uh, punchy little 10 11 and 9 10 on the B and E next solo section uh, just some quick little scaling going on here we're gonna do an eight on the E 
Here we go. 11, 10, 8. And then 11, 10, 8 on the B. Bend 10 on the G. Hit 8 on the E. release to 8 on the G, 10, 8, and we do 10, 10 on the uh, D and A, okay, and then do 8 on the G, once more, and we do 10, 8, D, 10 on the A. Okay, so we'll try it all together. All right, and then after some more uh, verses and chorus, uh, we get to the outro. Uh, just kind of a quick little scale and then some uh, uh, flourish chords at the end. All right, so we just do the eight on the E. Then we do a 10 on the G, bend it, uh, release, pull off to 8. Then we do 10 to 8 again on the G. 10 to 8 on the D. Alright, and then here we kind of do like an okie doke ending here. Uh, 10 on the A, 8, 9, 10 on the D, okay, so put that uh, scale together. Alright, and then it just ends on some uh, ch chord strumming flourish. And it's just going to be uh, 8 and 8 on the G and B, and a 10 on the E. Alright, that was Stray Cat Strut by the Stray Cats. A really cool 80s rockabilly song. Um, a lot of neat techniques that are throwbacks to the old style of, you know, 50s Eddie Cochran rockabilly and all that stuff, so... Hope you learned some cool stuff with this, and uh, hit me a subscription. That'd be cool. Until next time, stay cool, cat. We'll see ya.